Hey guys, so today I got a Mighty Mac blower. I picked this up uh, this week. It's pretty good condition, just a few things. It's missing the spring that goes here. I bought a replacement, it's four inches. Um, I'm there filter was dirty, I took it out. I have to take the carbon and everything off because it will run, but it doesn't want to start nicely. So I've, I got a new diaphragm for there. Uh, it's got this weird heat shield on it. Never seen this in this style of motor. I'm taking a lot of these apart. And you gotta drop the fuel tank to take the carb off because uh, you can't do the muffler. So it's welded at an angle so you can't spin it off, which I've never actually seen before, but I haven't uh, had this horsepower one in a while. And then I'm gonna adjust the handles. It's way too high. And then this cable, it's kind of funky and I'm gonna try to clench it, clench it down and see if that'll fix it. Um, it's missing the label up there, but that's not too big of a deal. So let's start. So unfortunately, I don't have a very good angle for this. I only have a tabletop tripod and um, I'm gonna see if I can kind of clench these together on that cable. I think got it. Seems like it's nice and tight now. Yeah, perfect. So the throttle cable. We got another pair of pliers. It's got a little bent up too, it seems like. But let me uh, straighten it out. And uh, I think this can be saved. Yeah. I'll try to get that a little tighter. And that's okay. Time to get springing. So let's see how this goes. It fits through there. And This is a four inch spring and it's not too tight. The only thing was the loops went all the way. So I cut, I cut them so that way it's about three quarters of a circle instead of a hundred percent. Let's get this handle lower. It's way too high. Set it the highest setting possible. And I just realized the hardware is mismatched but one of the bolts, looks, I guess, fell out. So I guess let's just do it in the middle. One's in. Throw a bolt on here. While I uh, get that one. All right, so I got the throttle cable fixed, spring fixed, handle adjusted. Time to take the tank off. So there's a bolt underneath that attaches the tank onto the frame. Oh, wrong way. That attaches the tank onto the motor. And then gotta take the air filter bolts off, the bolts holding the tank onto the carb, and then the two bolts holding the carb onto the block. So not too bad. I've done it plenty of times before. Just takes a little time. I think this unit 
is uh, about 28 years old. So the, the code on the motor makes it look like the motor is from 92. Oh, and that will close the choke just in case I drop a bolt so it doesn't go into the carburetor. this linkage wasn't set up properly anyways and looks like somebody took it apart because there's three washers on here I have no idea I know those brass ones definitely aren't right oh they lost the washer and instead of getting the proper one they uh, use what they had laying around that makes sense I need to get the Torx Torx size and then drop the tank. All right, got a T20 for uh, all the screws. never seen one like this before it is just a plate because it doesn't have the throttle controls on it but it doesn't uh, do anything except fill those screw holes oh forgot one more This is unique. It's a heat shield. I've never seen one uh, on these before. Granted, most of the time I use the three and a half horsepower, not the five. bit of a challenge. I'm gonna get the carb, at least try to loosen it up. So it looks like the muffler, I mean the carburetor, uh, is hitting a bolt, a mounting bolt on the bottom. Maybe I'll be able to rotate it or I think I'm gonna have to take the carburetor 
off and then lift it up. Yeah. So let me get a wrench. All right. So those bolts from the carb are three eighths of an inch. Uh, I thought I only have this style of wrench. So I think I'm going to try to loosen it up just a bit. Maybe I can rotate it out then and, and, and work it because that's going to be a pain if not. But maybe I can just get loose enough where I can rotate the carburetor. almost uh, so I got a screwdriver that should fit the bolt head if I can get it in there but maybe not so maybe I'll just have to loosen it up a bit more there it goes I think Oopsie. So not a whole lot of room. This linkage gets pulled off. And there's a spring. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna leave that for right now. Hmm. Looks like somebody was in there. And this gasket's broken. Um and we'll see. I was hoping I don't have that kit. I only have the diaphragm because I think that's all it really needs and it looks like the tank's a little dirty so I'm just gonna try to disconnect that and see from there or maybe I'll just see if this has enough room to uh, loosen the exhaust up pull it out nice. No, it doesn't seem to work. Let me see. If I loosen this up a bit more. Actually, I think I can get the screwdriver in. Yeah, to loosen it, get this off. And then I'll decide. Perfect. So this came off. All the way. This has a linket, yeah. This has two linkages, uh, but you know, I don't think I really need to take it all off as long as I can get to the diaphragm because it should just be a matter of replacing that because uh, it actually runs fine, but just does not want to start on choke. You had to throw some gas down the carb. So I think the diaphragm is shot and and that's why Yeah, this is all dried out, so I don't see dirt in here. Uh, the kit I have, it has the new spring, so I'll just throw that in too, even though the springs don't really go bad, but if you got it, you might as well do it for now. So, standard kit. And if this doesn't work, then I'll you know, take it apart clean everything really good but I have a feeling uh, you know this this will will do the trick so actually I'm looking at this this one it's a genuine Briggs but it looks like it was not cut out very good it's a bit worrying well, let's try it anyways
four back in. And it has a new spark plug, so when I got it, the guy told me he uh, put a spark plug in because it wasn't starting like it should, and well, it has nothing to do with this, but at least it's in there. It saves me a couple bucks. Well, this is bad. I do have an extra, so that's good. This might be bad too. It's got a ding in it, but I do have an extra too. Found it. It's a used one. It was actually off a five horsepower because I, uh, actually I'm gonna take the muffler off to get access now. But I bought a five horsepower motor that wasn't running and I rebuilt the carb, but it seemed like it was still giving me trouble. And then eventually I just parted the motor out. I, I kind of had enough of it and said, but I kept a few of the pieces that I thought I might need. So I kept, uh, All right, so before it wasn't setting properly, so somebody pushed it in too far, and that's what caused it, but it's also all dry rotted. Where, elbow's a bit dry, but not too bad. The other set I have is better, so I'll just use that instead. I'll put the exhaust on, pull that out. That's good. Um, then I'll kind of move where that gasket is. This gasket could be better, but what can you do? It doesn't run right, then I'll for sure change it. But right now I don't have that here. It would come uh, in a few days. So one trick I've had on these, cause it's hard to get there. I just use a screwdriver to start it. Um, you know, once I get it started to catch and then I'll tighten it up all the way with, uh, with the wrench and everything. Another thing I've learned from experience is if it's not going in, don't push it because um, you don't want to mess the threads up. Just work it slowly until you're able to get it. And then at the end, tighten it up. So, so I'm actually going on the underside And it's okay. That's got a little, little problem, but we'll see. There it goes. Still giving me a little trouble getting it aligned. Um, now I'm going to loosen these up 
So that way I get a little wiggle room. And the other one, I'm just gonna loosen up the wrench. There it goes. Now it's, <laughs> it's okay. So long bolt goes there. install this muffler shield and it shields the diaphragm and then no, let me install this first to get it in yeah I don't know how that got smashed up by the muffler so somebody must have uh, been in here different times But it was definitely, definitely damaged. And if it's still hard starting, I'm gonna change that fuel tank gasket because it does have some issues. So I'm gonna See if that makes it easier or if I should. All right. That good except I knock this out. All right. I think that's Something is not right. I need to take that back apart. Well, that's the governor spring fell off. So I can either take the tank and carb off again, which is real hard because of that frame, um, or I'm gonna try to take the recoil off and get to it that way. I hope this works, because this should be a lot easier. If not, I'll just have to take it off the other way.
and turn back on when this is off. All right, I pulled the recoil off and here is the governor spring that fell off. So I think I can just pull it on through here. Um, you know, I'm gonna try it and we'll see. All right, I finally got it back together. So what happened was the governor's spring assembly um, got turned around. So I, I took the recoil off. I finally figured it out. I had to take the tank mostly down too. Um, and that's actually what happened. So when I was moving it, the recoil or the governor spring and everything got turned enough where it was just you know, 180 degrees out of face. Uh, and that's why the throttle was all messed up. So, lesson learned, gotta be a little more careful on the throttle assembly. So. But got everything else in. Got the breather tubes in. Got the carb tightened to the engine block. Um, got the exhaust shield on. Got the throttle cable. And then I've got a new air filter too. So, new Briggs air filter. And then I throw those elements out too because I like them. Uh, actually, I like to put them in here. That way I know they're uh, facing proper. started so, new this blower is a thousand dollars I checked the website and it's the same design it's just the updated engine so in all total I'm gonna this for about two hundred ten dollars um, so I think I'm okay right up it was just the diaphragm uh, which was there so if I had the other kits I would have put the new tank gasket on but didn't have it I'm just gonna do an oil change and it's all set it's starting to work thanks a lot